Hey there guys, I'm Zach and this is Zach's Editing and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a spinning logo like this. So firstly what you want to do is open up a Illustrator 8 file. Um, it's pretty much what you just need to do is just um, watch this little thing and that's how you save it as an Illustrator 8 file. And then we'll just open it up and then you're just going to set the scale so I'll set it to say 20 centimeters and make sure that connect spine is uh, ticked and then here we have it and then you just want to um, open it up and then just select all of these paths and then you'll just right click and then you'll go down to connect objects and delete and that's making it into one path so then with this path you'll just drag it out um, until it's a different um, th then from that and then we'll just delete that null object. So then we've just got this path and so you can rename it like logo spline. Um, and then we'll just bring it above for now. Just change the camera angle. And then we'll rotate like this and just move it into a good position. And then what we're gonna do is go and create an extrude nerb. And then with this logo spline, we're going to drag it until we see a little arrow down and then we'll let go. And then let's put it into an extrude nerb. So now we can see it's actually um, 3D and what we can just do is click on this extrude nerb. And then with this movement, we can change this little box and it, um, say if we set it to 80 centimeters, then it'll become thicker. And so we can set it to maybe like 300 maybe a bit more so like 1000 yeah that looks pretty good um, and then you can also do movements with this um, say if we set that to like 2000 um, it sort of has the movements sideways as well if you want that or um, with the Y it can go up and down um, but for that we'll just do that <laughs> and then we'll just reset the camera um, so then we've got that and then what we're going to do is um, grab this extrude nerb and then we'll see that this anchor point isn't in the center. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and click this little enable axis and then we'll drag it to its position and we'll also just rotate just to make sure that it's also in the center that way as well. So that's good. And then we can just click that again to let go of it. And so now if we want to move it, then it'll move the object and not just the axis. Um, so now we'll go ahead and click on that. And we'll go ahead and make sure that our render settings are good. So we'll go edit render settings. Um, we will set the width to 1920 and the height to 1080. We'll set the resolution to 300 pixels per inch. Um, that's good. We'll set the frame rate to 60. And then we want the frame range, we want all frames. Um, save, what we want to do is save it as a quick time movie. And then what we want to do is make sure that we have alpha channels selected. And so now pretty much what that's going to do is um, make it so when it's rendered, it's got a transparent background um, and then it can go straight onto um, other files. Um, so now so it'll be running at 60 frames a second. We'll set that to maybe 300, 300 frame. Oopsie. To 300 frames. Oops. And then we'll just drag this out to have all of them in the workspace. Um, so now we'll just go to say frame 30 and we'll s select the extrude nerve and we'll set a keyframe just by clicking this little key. Um, so that sets a keyframe for that and then we'll go up to say keyframe 90 and then we'll go to rotation and for H we will go 360 degrees and then we'll click apply and then again we'll hit this little icon. So now what we see is if we just press space bar it turns around and then that's good. We might actually change that to something like 180. 
cool and then we might just select both of these and just drag them out so that they're in the center um, so now we can just see that so we'll wait and then it'll spin and then it'll wait for a bit again and it'll keep waiting and it'll spin and then if we just right click um, this keyframe we can go to spline types and then ease out so then as we can see it slowly goes and then it gains to full velocity and then with this one as well we'll go ease in um, so now we can see if we just press play um, it's slow going around and then yeah so it doesn't just straight away just keep the same speed the whole time and then just randomly stop um, but it does that um, so with the extrude nerve we can just double click down here and create a material we might just put it to black maybe slight grey and then we'll just drag this material onto the extrude nerb so we don't need to worry about the floor or sky or whatever um, but we can add a light um, so we'll just grab it bring it out a bit just to add like because I know that it, it almost acts as if there's a light there anyways but just having an actual light set adds that little bit more realisticness to the 3D look so then we can just go ahead and hit render and we will go to add to render queue um, and we'll just click yes to save it and then we'll just have it here and then we've got that make sure that that's the only thing selected and then again we'll just make sure it's going to select all of these frames there um, we'll make sure the render settings on my render setting um, cameras fine if you've got a camera then use that um, and then we'll go up to this little icon and start rendering it. Make sure again that your output file is in the right spots. We'll, I'll, get, I'll just go ahead and change that. Okay. And then we will go ahead and render it. And it's done. Okay. Um, so then that's all good. And then you can just open it in whatever program you want. Um, so then you can use that as the alpha channel with the alpha channel. And um, should be all good to go. Um, so it's good for something like... Down here you can see I've got um, this sort of spinning logo here. Um, I actually made this one in Photoshop um, because I was before I had Cinema 4D. But um, yeah, um, so it's pretty much the exact same thing. Um, I've just got it in a lower sort of opacity. So yeah, so I hope you guys like this tutorial. and um, So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Oh, 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 oh,